Okay, so today we are doing a gathered seam. You'll need two of these if you don't have two of them already. What you're gonna do, remember, first thing, turn your dial to a four, or the biggest stitch possible. On different machines it can go higher, but this is the highest it can go is a four. You are then going to um, line the fabric with the presser foot. You are not going to reverse. You're just going to go forward. You are going to reverse at the end. Oh, well this one doesn't reverse. So that you can pull your thread without it coming out. So you'll just reverse one side, okay? So what we're going to do is you are going to, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a pen because mine didn't um, reverse. If you forget to reverse on one end, what you are going to do is put a pin on one end and you're gonna wrap the thread around the pin. This thread's pretty short, so let's do the other side. This is in any, any gathering situation. You're gonna wrap the thread around the pin like a figure eight. Can y'all see that? It's not very easy to see, okay? Then what you're going to do is you are going to, <clears throat> Take one of the threads and pull it, okay? How you know how to pull it is the length of wherever you're sewing. Because we need it to be shorter so we can gather, you're going to be sewing this short side, okay? So we need to make it this the size of the short side right? So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the whole way. And how you, how you make it move over is you kind of just move it with your fingers, which we did this before when we made our pin cushion. Remember? You want to be careful because you don't want to break the thread or you're going to do it again. Okay. So what we're going to do is well, I'm going to go ahead and actually pin this side together and I'll wrap that figure eight again. Sorry, I realize I can't see this. Okay, then I'm pulling, I need to make this other camera closer. Pulling and pulling. Okay, well that's too short now. You see that doesn't match up. So what I can do is then match up my edges I have to pull that. Match up my edges, pin this together, and then I'm gonna wrap this longer string around the thread because I don't want it to pull out. Does that make sense? We don't want our gathered stitches to pull out. Now that's not even. This is a not even. There's flat here, flat here on this side. So I'm going to fan out the gathers as best I can. And then I'm gonna pin it. Ooh. I'm gonna pin it together, okay? So you'll wanna pin it close together so your gathers don't move. Then once you're done with that, you're going to, you need to turn this back to a two and a half. Cause if you turn it, if you do it to a four, this is not gonna stay in, in uh, stay. It's gonna be really thick, really wide stitches. Okay, so I'm going to actually then stitch it right over the other stitches, which was right in line with the presser foot. But I am gonna back stitch this time, so. And then I'm going to go for, of course. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to go forward. If you have, you can't really see that. 
Okay, so sometimes your gathers don't go under your presser foot correctly. So if that's the case, you lift your presser foot up to make sure that they go underneath your presser foot. Okay, so you'll just go forward, keep going forward. And then you'll go back. Again, this one, does, this machine does not go backwards. So you will lock your stitches in place. I should have taken all those out. Okay, then what I'm going to do, because you see when I flipped this, you can see that black thread, right? So that's my gather stitch. I'm gonna take that out. Once this is sewn properly, you take your gather stitch out. Because if you were to make a dress or make anything, you don't want that stitch to show. Typically your stitches, your thread is gonna be the same color as your fabric, but either way, you don't want that to show. So I'm gonna go in and take it out. And you should be able to just pull it right out once you can get one stitch ripped. Unless it's stitched over, which that one is, so that's making it a little hard. Okay. So you just use your seam ripper, get underneath the stitch. I need to make this closer. Can I do that? Let's see. Okay, it's a little closer. So I'm going in. And removing these stitches. Once I am done, Jacqueline, will you go ahead and, will you, uh, actually, Erica, will you plug in that iron for me, please? I'm going to pull these all out. Some of them aren't going to be as easy to pull out because you might have a stitch over them. Do not take out the, the stitching that you did that's going to keep it in place. That's going to be unhelpful. Okay. Then once you're done, you're going to press. You're going to cut your threads. Make sure you cut your threads. You also are going to pinky here around the edges. So I'll use these pinking shears and cut around the edges. Okay, these don't work, but y'all get the gist, right? And cut all the way around. And then, um, you are going to leave this. You're not going to cut this seam. It's very short, so it's very small. So we're not going to actually press it open. You're going to press it to one side, okay? So you'll press it to the flat side, to the long side, which I will press it and put it in my notebook and put the page on, the, on my notebook up there on the board. But this is what your final is going to look like, the final piece, except for it's going to be all pinking shoes, okay? But y'all don't need to see me pink the whole thing. That's just ridiculous. Okay? So, does anybody have any questions?